guys, I wanted to film an updated skincare routine because I've been getting been getting questions a lot throughout my pregnancy and I'm kind of answering as I go, but um, I wanted to stockpile some videos. I'm still pregnant at the moment, but I wanted to stockpile some videos for when the baby does come. I definitely don't plan on having the time that I have now to film them, so I wanted to kind of line some up and... Um, I thought this would be a good one to do because some stuff has changed since becoming pregnant and most of it hasn't, but I did start using a new moisturizer that I wanted to tell you guys about and just kind of give you an update because I, the last one I did was a while ago and um, I just kind of wanted to clue you guys in because I've been getting questions like I said. So for the most part, um, I've always, if you haven't watched any previous skincare videos for me, I've always try to stick to the most natural skincare products that I possibly could without any sulfates or parabens and it hasn't been that hard. I've been a loyal, loyal, devout user of Cebu Beauty um, which you can find tons of information on my channel about those products. I swear by them. I love them. I still use quite a lot of their products if not all. Um, they're all natural, they're organic, they're cruelty free, they're paraben free, there's no sulfates, there's no harsh chemicals, it's just good for you skin stuff. Um, so I'm going to run through my nighttime and then my everyday routine because they really aren't that much different day to night. So I'm going to start at nighttime. Um, I first always remove my makeup and I've been using and loving and swearing by the Shiseido Cotton Squares. Um, Again, if you've been watching my videos, these will not come as a shock to you. I've been using these for probably almost a year, maybe six months. They're the softest cotton ever. They don't rip. They don't shed. They remove your makeup effortlessly. I use these, um, if I ever use a toner, which I really don't use a toner regularly, but if I ever need to use one or want to use one, I use these with my toner. Um... They, I could use two for my whole face, takes my whole face off. Um, quite expensive, but everybody that has, I've tried to turn on to these, has not gone back to regular cotton. It's not treated, and I never knew that before. Um, typically, typically, typically cotton is treated, which I didn't know you could even do that. But the cotton that you get at CVS or Walgreens or wherever, the squares, the rounds, they're treated, which is... Um, it makes them not pure. So here you're literally getting the purest of pure cotton. It's incredibly soft on your skin. It's amazing. I actually um, have backups of these at all times in my closet. And when the baby comes, I'm actually going to be using these to clean the umbilical cord. Like that's how pure these are. Um, so use the cotton to take it off. Still using and loving Bioderma. This is a one saw take off everything, eye makeup, face makeup, everything. I do not ever use or wear waterproof mascara or waterproof, well, I guess you could, some of it's waterproof makeup, but I never wear waterproof mascara. Um, so I can't vouch for this taking waterproof eye makeup off. However, I have heard from a lot of people that do use waterproof that this still works wonders to take it off. But just for everyday cleansing, my like taking off my makeup, um, this works wonders. I typically get this from Amazon or eBay. I don't have a specific seller. I just find whoever has it for the lowest price. Um, this is a 500 ml bottle. If I can find the 500 for a better price, I'll get that. Sometimes I'll just get for the go for the 250 ml bottle. Um, and I believe ballpark I pay about 25 30 dollars for a 250 ml bottle. Sometimes you can find a good steal. So. The last time I ordered two of these, I think for $35, and I found a seller on Amazon, so love this. I did want to just mention, um, a while ago, I was in Sephora, and they did like a makeover kind of thing on me, and they used this to take my eye makeup off, and I really liked it, so I ended up buying just a little one, and I do like it to, to, re to remove makeup, and I'm just in the process now of just finishing products, using them up, and sticking to what I really love, but I wanted to give this kind of a mention because it's a really good eye makeup remover. It's by Makeup Forever, and it's the Sense Eyes, and basically you just pump. I do like two pumps on a cotton pad, and I just take my makeup, my eye makeup off with this, and then I go over the rest of my face with Bioderma. Um, it's decent. It's good. I won't repurchase it because this takes everything off, but like I said, I bought a little size bottle because I was impressed with it when they used it on me, and now I'm just trying to work through it, but if you can't get this... Um, I'm going to back up. <sighs> Getting out of breath. A lot of people have said, a lot of people have 
talked about a lot of dupes for this. Essentially, it's a cleansing water. Sephora makes one. Vichy makes one. So it's not like Bioderma is the end-all be-all. It's the only one I've tried, and I just like to stick to what I like, stick to what I know, so this is what I've been using. But I have heard from a lot of people that the one that Sephora makes um, does just as good. Maybe the next time I go to Sephora, I'll pick that one up and maybe try to do like a comparison video because it would be great if I could get it at Sephora. It would be so much more accessible. Um, but I wanted to just throw that in there and just let you guys know about this if you are in need of like a specific eye makeup remover. This one's not bad at all. Okay, so now my face is clear and now I need to wash my face. Um, in the shower every day, I use the Clarisonic Mia. Still using this. I've had this for probably over two years now. I change out the brush head every three months. Right now this is the sensitive skin one. Um, I don't really notice the difference between the sensitive skin and the regular one, but I always buy the two packs and I always get them when they're when they're VIB sales running because you save money that way. I don't use an exfoliator on a regular basis. This is my exfoliator and it does wonder. So every morning in the shower I use this. So I use this once a day. Um, I don't like to use it more than that because I it's so deep cleaning that I don't want to dry my skin out. So in the shower, I use this with my Cebu Balancing Facial Cleanser. It's, like I said, natural, organic, paraben-free, sulfate-free. I do one pump right on my Clarisonic, and I just go to town on my face. So that's in the morning. But if I'm doing it at night, I'm still using the Cleanse and Detox Bar. And I have this by my sink, and I just get a lather in my hands, and I just use it. I just use my hands at nighttime. And literally, it takes off everything because for the most part the bioderma wipes your skin completely clean the bar just literally cleanses so these are both by Cebu and I get asked about which one I prefer all the time I'll the only thing I'll say is this is much more travel friendly other than that I don't notice the difference they both clean my face beautifully they both make my face feel scrubbed and good and like it doesn't leave behind anything um, I think this is much more affordable as a bar um, than this, but for travel purposes, when I travel, I always take this because it's just easier and it locks and you don't have to worry about it leaking and it's easier to pack than a bar. But I, I use these both daily, so I can't really tell you one or the other. I think it's just preference, like if you want the, the pump or the bar soap. But I just keep this in a little soap dish by my, be by my, my bed, by my sink, and I use it at night. That is nighttime. Like I said, I don't use a toner on a regular basis. I don't feel the need to. Usually I would use them in the past to remove any excess makeup, but I literally don't need to do that because the Bioderma and the Cebu cleanser takes everything off. If I had to use a toner, um, it would probably be because my skin is super dry and I just need the toner to kind of put moisture back into it. When using a toner, when finding a toner you like, make sure it's alcohol free. You don't want to dry out your skin. The purpose of a toner is basically to keep the pH balanced in your skin. Um, I had a facial a couple weeks ago and the esthetician was like insistent that I need to incorporate a toner into my routine. I don't use one regularly. I don't notice a difference when I do, so I skip it. But the two that I use and recommend if I need it, meaning if my skin is super dry and I just need extra moisture, that's when I'll use a toner. The two that I like is the Tea Tree Water from Lush and the Clarifying Toner from Cebu. Both of these. I like the smell of this one better, but really they both do um, the same thing. Um, this one has the Tea Tree, so if your skin is super... Uh, sensitive or problematic, the tea tree might be good because it'll help calm and soothe your skin. But um, for just an all, like all skin type, everyday toner, this one does just as good. So um, have these, but do not use them regularly. Okay. So after my face is cleaned off, then I put on my moisturizer. Without fail, I'm still using the Josie Marin Argon Oil every single night. I go through these probably every two months, like this size. This is the 1.7 ounce, and I go through these every two months, and I know every time I talk about skincare, everyone's like, there's so much cheaper alternatives out there. I know that, um, but I'm stubborn, and when I find a product that I like and a product that works for me, I'm just going to stick to it. So I have been very religiously loyal to Josie Marin Argon Oil, just like I have been to Cebu. So this is just the Argon Oil I choose to purchase it's wonderful, um, and I just use one little dropper of this, slather it on my whole face. It just feels so good, and it's 100% natural, completely safe for pregnancy, which is great. Um, I just can never be without this. This is just an amazing moisturizer. 
For eye cream at night, I'm using the Cebu Age Defying Eye Cream. You can actually use this day and night, but I have a different one for the daytime, which I'm going to talk about. So I just use this one for night. I just get it on my ring fingers, dab around my eyes, and, and then I'm done. And that is it for my face, and then I always slather on the C.O. Bigelow Rose Salve on my lips. Um, I also use this, and I get this at Bath & Body Works, it's like $5. I also use this um, if I have dry patches like on my elbows. I've also used it if um, I have a dry spot on my face. Like I've literally put this directly on my face, and knock on wood, I have never had this break me out or anything. I had an extraction done a couple weeks ago and I had a facial down here and you can kind of still see um, a little particle but I thought that it was just pimples and it turned out to actually be two blackheads like side by side so she really like squeezed it was gross um, ended up getting super dry because she used an astringent on me and it just got super super dry and cakey it was gross I used this for two nights and it was back to normal and it was fine. So if you need like extra moisture on a certain patch of your face or something, um, I reached for this. So it's really good. Alright, so morning time in the shower, like I said, Clarisonic with my balancing cleanser washes my face. In the past, before I was pregnant, I was using the Sea Buckthorn Hydrating Serum, which I love. However, this does contain some Retinol A which they say is not safe to use in pregnancy. So when I found out I was pregnant, I discontinued using this, and I'm probably not gonna go back to it for a little while because I'm gonna be breastfeeding, and it's just something I should you should stay away from if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. So, um, but if you're not with child, <laughs> um, and you want extra moisture, I mean, I use this for years, and eventually I will go back to it. It's a nice step to put on between your cleanser and your daytime moisturizer. It just gives you that extra moisture in your skin during the day. Um, but like I said, since I became pregnant, I stopped using it because of the Retinol A. I do like the, the uh, Argon Oil, but it's a little too greasy for me to wear underneath my makeup. So that's why I don't use it during the daytime. So in the past, I was using the Cebu, Cebu um, Day Cream. And I've been pitching and moaning for a long time now that I wish they would just put an SPF in that day cream just to save me a step in the morning. And they just can't figure out a natural way to do that. So... Instead, I got a sample from, I say a sample, it was a generous sample from Earth Day last year of a Perfect World Moisturizer from Origins. And I found it in my stash when I was trying to clean out and go through stuff and I decided, I'm going to just use this and see how it works. And it has SPF in it and it took me over a year to get through that tube. It was a little tube, you'll see it in a product empties video coming up soon. Uh, it took me over a year to get through it. I loved it, so I ended up repurchasing it. Before I started using the Origins moisturizer, I was using this Kula Face Sunscreen, which is SPF 30, with the Cebu Day Cream. And it just was an extra step in the morning. I do really like this. I would recommend it if you need extra SPF protection. Um, the moisturizer I'm going to talk about next has it in it, but if you need like a separate just sunscreen for your face, I recommend this. J. Crew is now selling this. I just saw uh, an email from them for their summer like beach necessities. They're now selling this. It is on the pricey side. I usually get mine from Hot Look because it's usually uh, it's always a better discount. It's a good discount from Hot Look. So it's organics. It's like the only organic face sunscreen out on the market. This will be coming with me all summer long when I'm by the pool at the beach great for your face and it's completely safe so this is a great all in it of it all in it of itself SPF for your face if you need it separate because your day cream does not have it so ended up using the whole deluxe sample of the origins so I ended up repurchasing a perfect world from origins and it now it's this one comes in a jar well it normally comes in a jar the one I had was a tube and they this comes with SPF and without I got the one with and it has SPF 25 and it's 1.7 ounces and I just have to say like I've had this for probably over a month now this is like this just lasts forever even that, like I said that little deluxe tube that I got it just lasts forever so you only need a little bit it smells heavenly um, it's made with white tea smells really really good it's almost like a pinkish tint but it just goes on your skin like a moisturizer it blends in um, and I really like this I have had no issues with it breaking me out I have had no issues with it irritating my skin um, I really I really really like it 
and I have just normal you know normal sometimes dry skin and it works really great so this has become my daytime moisturizer and then my day um, eye cream is also from Origins and it's the Ginseng and the only reason I started using this was because I was I went to Origins the Origins counter in my Macy's because I wanted to purchase another Vitazing because I haven't had this in a while which is essentially just like a primer um, has a little bit of coverage for your skin it's more like I'd say it's more like a makeup product than skincare um, I'll talk about this in a second. But anyway, I went to purchase this and I got another Vitazing and they were running a promo and giving out a full size of their Ginseng eye cream. So that was awesome. So this um, is a really nice eye cream and it's, I'm sure you could use it nighttime and daytime, but it's a very like almost invigorating eye cream. So it's not something I'd want to use at night. So that's why I stick to using the Cebu eye cream at night and I use this one during the day because it kind of just like, um, wakes you up and just gives you like a little teeny tiny little teeny teeny tiny little like zing around your eyes and it's just it just feels really refreshing in the morning it's not a feeling I would want at nighttime so I do use this eye cream in the morning and that is it so then the Vita Zing, I, like I said, I just repurchased. Um, I finished this one probably a year ago, and I never repurchased it. It's like a nice product to have, but it's definitely not like a staple in my skincare routine. Um, but it has SPF 15, and I would apply this after my moisturizer. And it's just a little, it's kind of one of those color adjusting, like it adjusts to your skin tone. It comes out white, and then it just kind of provides tiny bit of color to your skin so um, I purposely bought this because I'm gonna have a baby soon and I know putting makeup on is gonna be like a thing of the past in the beginning and I just kinda got it to just slap on in the morning if I just want like my skin to just look a little bit more even and not so red and blotchy which it tends to do um, so that's why I bought this but like I said it's not something that I like need to have at all times in my skincare routine. It's just a nice like extra moisturizer kind of it's I'd say it's like a step down from like a BB cream if that if that makes sense. And that's everything. That is my entire skincare routine. So like I said, it has not changed dramatically. Mainly the only thing is I deleted this from my morning routine and I added the Origins products to just um, replace the daytime cream until Cebu decides to put SPF in there. I'm boycotting, and I'm just kidding. But um, I just like that it's like an all-in-one SPF moisturizer. I don't have to do the extra step of putting the SPF on. And then the only other thing I wanted to just mention was face masks, which I don't do them as often as I should probably, but the two that I like to use, um, this one's from Cebu, it's the purifying mask, and this one has like little granules, and you basically just put it on and let it sit for like 10 minutes, so a couple times a month, if I'm like, want to take a hot bath or something, I'll put this on, and it's just, it's just like a nice purifying, like kind of just, um, pulls all like the bad particles out of your skin. It just gives you kind of like a nice overall glow afterwards. So I use this one. This one's actually almost gone. It's, it's like a thick paste. And then the other one that I really do like is from Bliss and it's the Triple Oxygen Instant Energizing Mask. You literally put this on and it like foams and bubbles all over your face and you leave it on for only five minutes and um, rinse it off. On the back it says to use maximum of three times weekly which, like I said, I probably maybe use this once a month, if that. But it's a super quick pick-me-up. If you have time in the morning and your skin is looking or feeling a little dull and you need a little bit of extra, um, this is a nice, like, just little five-minute treatment to just put on your face. And um, it says that it releases oxygen mo molecules and detoxifiers. And it kind of just, like, again, just leaves your skin looking glowy and awake and um, hydrated, and it's nice. So I wanted to just mention those two face masks that I use. Um, I do like the ones from Lush, but I hate that they have an expiration date on them because um, I feel like, I, like I said, I don't do masks as often as most people do and then they expire and then I feel like I wasted money. So that is my entire skincare routine. I will have links to everything in the description box if you want to try to find any of this stuff. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, one thing I did not touch on, I just realized, is like a blemish 
Blemish Buster Blemish Cream. I haven't used one in a long time now that I'm thinking about it. Um, knock on wood, I have not had any breakouts except for this one, which was like more like blackheads, not a breakout. But um, So I haven't really had the need or tried. Also, those um, a lot of the blemish treatments have like salicylic acid in them which they also tell you to kind of stay away from in pregnancy so I don't have one that I'm currently loving at the moment to recommend to you guys before I got pregnant I was using the La Roche Posay Effaclar Duo which is okay but it tends to be very drying um which is kind of the whole point of why you want it but um that's the one I've probably used most recently but other than that I haven't I know Origins makes one, and I still, I gave my mom the blemish therapy from Bare Minerals, which is always the one that I use and swear by, and she was having a rough time with her skin at one point, so she asked to try it, and I gave it to her, and I haven't gotten it back yet, so that is that in case I get asked questions about that, but I hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions, if there's anything I missed, um, leave it in the description box below. I know this was kind of a long video. I covered a lot and I apologize if I was a little winded, but um, I hope it was helpful nonetheless. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!